Well, we're back on our morning walk down by the riverbank, and uh, the bluebells have all but gone, but the summer plants are coming. And here is the first of the beautiful poppies. Now, it would be nice to take the poppies home, and there are many flowers that. Uh, that are around us that you think, oh, that would be nice. That would be nice to have in a little vase at home and have its beauty in my home. <coughs> but I know that as soon as a poppy has been cut, it'll start to wither and die. And being a poppy, it won't take long to wither and die. Other plants may last a bit longer, but the poppy certainly wouldn't. And uh, it's uh, a cut flower, and cut flowers die. There's a commentator called Oz Guinness, a Christian commentator. I heard him about two years ago and he's written a number of books and he describes Western civilization uh, as presently a cut flower civilization. And he argues, and I'm in agreement with him, that uh, the West's strengths have always depended upon Bible principles. So the principle of everyone being equal the principle of justice for all, the principle of uh, servant leadership, uh, the princi principles around marriage and around work and around work ethic and around honesty have been at the, the very foundation of the Western society and certainly the foundation of British society as well. However, in the last 20 years, maybe 30 or 40, but certainly more clearly in the last 20 years, the Bible has been completely abandoned and rejected and actually is even now considered by many to be immoral. But having cut off the root of Western civilization, all the benefits are starting to go. The flower is wilting and dying, so we see a civilization that is based upon things that it was actually abandoned. Well, the Bible, the Bible speaks about these things and warns about them and reflects upon them. Uh, so for instance, a song, a song that was written uh, well, nearly 2,000 years ago uh, says this, it's a psalm of, of a king, King David, Psalm 37. It says, do not fret because of evil men or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither away like green plants they will soon die away trust in the lord and do good dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart uh, and in that psalm he goes on to uh, explain and to describe what it means to follow god now it makes very clear that if you want a prosperous healthy life in this world then the Bible is to be your guide but the Bible goes beyond this world and tells you how to prepare for the next as well and what we've seen and what we see in our present culture is that in abandoning the Bible people are not prepared for this world and they're certainly not prepared for the next well the answer is to go back to the Bible and what it says and especially what it says uh, from the mouth of Jesus Christ who summarizes everything very clearly concisely and simply Jesus Christ the King he describes how life should be a life of forgiveness because he forgives how life should be a life of mercy because he is merciful a life of grace for he is grace gracious a life where others are considered equal for he became like us to make us like him and if we follow Bible principles which at the heart has Jesus Christ then we'll find that we're prepared not just for this life but for the life to come well today may God bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you my little friend is well down the path I don't know if you can see him he's waiting for me hiding have a good day